In this video, we'll see how I designed this form using Angular Material UI. I'm using Angular Material UI and Bootstrap for designing this particular HTML page. Um, so we'll start by adding a form. Once you have the form, we will be using something called a mat card. That is a Angular Material UI component. So this mat card has like three components, like three components that we'll be using. Mat card header. Mat card content. Mat card actions. Now we'll place our title inside the mat header. Like mat card title. If you try saving this thing, you can see profile information here. Inside the mat content, we add a grid system. So I'll be adding a row and two columns. Inside, I'll be having adding a mat form field and an input. I'll add the mat input directly to that. Now I'll simply uh, copy this thing and create another one. I'll add a placeholder to each. Now if you save this thing and check here, you should be able to see this. First name, last name. Similarly, I'll just create one more, or maybe we'll, cre we'll create another row. Copy it, paste it. You have the second row. So here I'll use the text area. The second column I'll add a, a bootstrap a date picker. So I'll simply co copy the code from the website. Here you can see it's a mat form field and a date picker. So I'll just copy the code and paste it here. Now if you save and refresh, you should be able to see a date picker and this. Yeah. I'll add another row. So at this I'll be adding a radio button group. Let's see the UI. Now once you have added this, you can see the from the UI that it's a bit a little bit of spacing is required here. So I'll add a margin there. So I already have a style here for the radio buttons. So I'll just apply the style. If you save it, if you can see, you can see that it's proper now. Okay, now uh, we need to add some buttons in the mat card actions. Let's name it as save. Let's add the color and make it a angular material button by using the class matrix button. Save it. And you should have this view. Now let's add a bit of a margin from around the form. So I'll just add a class called form container, which already has a margin of 100 pixels. And just add this class here. Save it. Should have this. So I hope you found this video useful. Do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.